welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a get ready with me. Uh, one of my subscribers did ask to do an eye look. She wanted me to do an eye look um, using the new Sephora and Pantone Universe um, Modern Watercolors Eye Palette. So I'm going to play with this for the first time really today. I've only used a couple of the colors up, you know, so far, you know, as an inner corner highlight or just, you know, as a light color, but I'm going to try to see if I can do a whole look with this. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try. And I figured I'd just chit chat with you and hang out and, you know, show you what I do in the morning. So I've already put, um, moisturizer on my face. I used, I got this in a glossy box. I used the, um, Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cream. Here is the sample that I got. I actually really like this. It's kind of like a gel cream formula. It absorbs into my skin really nice. Uh, I have combination skin, but right now it's getting very dry because of the cold weather that we're getting in New York now. So, um, I think I'm going to buy the full size of this. I like it a lot. All right, so now I'm going to go in and prime. Uh, I'm going to use, um, all right, so I hauled this this past week. I haven't even, you know, it's an old product. It's not something new to the drugstore, but I've never tried it, so it's new to me. It's the Revlon uh, Photo Ready Airbrush Effect uh, Makeup Foundation. So um, this is the foundation. Everyone complains that it has glitter and things in it. I actually like the reflective quality of this but I don't want the glitter and whatever particles are in it to clog my pores, so I am gonna use a silicone-based silicone primer to really fill my pores in, and so I'm gonna use my Lancome La Base Pro, and I'm just gonna put it wherever I have larger pores or I might break out, which is really just my T-zone. Okay, and I'm gonna get my palette for my foundation and I'm just gonna put two pumps in here and I'm gonna get a foundation brush and just apply this all over my face this foundation is awesome <clears throat> as long as you only use one layer of it. I found that when I layered it up, it started looking very cakey. So on my first layer, I like to apply a lot of foundation because I will not be going back in and I wanna make sure that it is as full coverage as it can be because I do have some things that I do wanna cover up and that's that. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a angled buffing brush and just buff this in. I find that I like this foundation better with a brush over the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender seems to break it up a little bit weirdly. Um, I just, I don't like the way it looked. I didn't like the finish, so I prefer a brush. Kind of just gives it more of a flawless finish. All right, so now for my concealer, I like to, I got this, I just hold this with the Revlon. I wanted to try it out and I like it. It's the instant, uh, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewinds um, Eraser Dark Circles. Uh, it's the um, neutralizer one. Yes, the neutralizer. I've always got the one, I think it was like fair or light or something like that and they didn't have it. So I got this one instead and I actually kind of like it because it's more yellow toned. So I'm just going to apply this under my eyes, highlight my jaw, a little bit on my chin here. Okay. And then before I blend that in, I like to go in with this concealer, the um, Urban Decay Naked. It's um, very bright. It's very whitening, brightening. And I just put it under my eyes. So when I blend it out, it just brightens up under my eyes a little bit because I like it right in the middle. All right, and then I go in with my beauty blender and then I just literally blend it out. I use the pointy side first and then any edges that look like they need some additional blending, I'll flip it over and use the wider side. And to 
set that I use, I know everyone likes to use the Laura Mercier, um, one of the setting powders. I like this one because I feel that this one is a little more brightening and I just like the look that it gives under my eyes. I set my under eye concealer only with this. And you know, maybe a little bit my T-zone, but um, it is the Laura Mercier. Um, in, what is this? This is the Invisible Loose Setting Powder in Universal. It's a little more white, which I like personally. So I pour a little bit into the cap. And then I use the pointy end of my beauty blender and I just set under my eyes. I really make sure because I do have uh, fine lines under my eyes and I do not want my concealer to crease and it always will crease if I don't set this really well. So got that, we'll put a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the fine lines on my forehead, a little bit right here. A little bit on the chin and just a little bit on the jawline so that doesn't transfer the concealer. Okay, and then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my um, Hourglass <laughs> Ambient Light Palette. I'm just going to use all the shades uh, with a fluffy brush and just set the rest of my face with this. Because this foundation, as pretty as it is and glowy as it is, it dries down, but it always feels a little bit tacky, or at least on me. So I do like to put a little powder on it just to set it a little more. Nothing worse than foundation on your scarf in the wintertime, so... Okay, so we're done with that. All right, so let's throw some of these things in here, out of the way. All right, so now for my contour today, I'm going to be experimenting with the uh, Wet n Wild palettes that I just got yesterday. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna go in with the lighter of the two contour shades from the Dulce de Leche palette. And um, there's the palette there. And I'm gonna go in with a contour brush. Sorry, it's dirty. Didn't clean my brushes yesterday. Um, oh, it's very powdery. So you don't wanna be too much of a bully with the brush because it will um, have powder everywhere. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with this. Okay, that looks nice. I might go in with the darker one just to deepen it up a little bit. Okay. And all I'm doing is, is the typical, um, you know, the regular original style um, contour um, in three shape. You wanna bring it to the temple of your forehead, down across your cheekbone or under your cheekbone, and then wrap it around under your jawline. That'll help give definition under your jawline, it'll define your cheekbone, and it'll, if you have a wider face or a rounder face like me, it'll slim your forehead a little bit too. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of this, and I'm just gonna hit the sides of my nose. And under the, no, the bottom, and then I'm going to take a little bit across the bridge to give the illusion of a little bit more of a button nose. I'm not doing any heavy contouring, but I do want to add some depth back into my face. All right, a little bit under my lower lip, and then I'm just going to give my chin a little definition. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the darker shade of the two, and this is from the Caramel Toffee one. And I'm just gonna deepen up the backs of my cheeks.
Now I virtually do this every day really quickly. I mean, I'm talking through it and I'm taking my time a little bit more, but I use the, um, I've been using the Anastasia um, contour palette just because a lot of the shades are actually very similar, but these actually are very nice. I actually like these a lot, so I think I might be incorporating these into my routine a little more. All right, so I'm going to go in with this yellow color and um, let's get a brush, make sure it's clean. All right, so I'm going to take this yellow color and I'm just going to put it under my eyes just to brighten them up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to finish putting a little bit under here. It really brightens up a lot. Holy cow. It's like the um, banana powder. Okay. Looks good. So let's put these in their drawer. All right, so now I'm going to go in with a blush. And I'm going to use the blush that I hauled yesterday, the Rose Champagne Wet n Wild. Here is the color here super gorgeous. I'm going to get a blush brush. Let's see. I'm going to use this one. I want a little bit more of a dense one. All right, so I'm going to just pop this on my cheeks. Let's see. Take a little bit on the bridge of my nose as if I were in the sun and the sun, you know, gave me a little bit of color because when you get color, the first bit that you get is usually a little more warm, not so um, brown. So I'm just going to buff this all in just with a brush. Just to make everything nice and seamless. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with a highlighter. I'm very excited about this one. This is the uh, one that I hauled yesterday, the um, Wet n Wild one. Here are the four shades. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a fan brush, but I'm gonna use a small one, and it's a little dirty, it's a little red. It's almost the end of the week. All right, so a small fan brush, and then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with this color all the way on the uh, end here. Wow, it's super pretty. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with this deeper pink one just over my blush, kind of like a blush topper. Just to add a little more glow because I'm feeling kind of glowy today. Oh boy, shiny. I love it. All right, so definitely love this. Definitely, if you can find this palette, get it. It was so worth it. It was like five or six bucks. All right, so now I'm going to spray my face down with a setting spray before I do my eyeshadow and everything. And the setting spray that I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild um, setting spray. I just hauled this yesterday. I have no idea how this is gonna work. So fingers crossed that this is a win. And actually, you know what? I said I didn't have a scent yesterday. It smells very fresh. Fresh backslash alcohol. And a trick I like to do if I see like I put too much somewhere, I take my beauty blender and I just pat it in. I don't rub it in, I just pat it in to help press any foundation or anything into my skin. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a, prep my lips now with a lip treatment just so that they're ready because they're very dry. This weather is just horrible. So I have a little sample here of the Clinique Super Bomb Lip Treatment. Here's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my lips. It's like almost like um, a Vaseline type of product. Vaseline or, um, you know, anything like petroleum-like. Because my lips are dry can't go putting lipstick up on that. That's just not cool. 
All right. So now I'm gonna do some eyebrows while the rest of my face is setting. Where is my eyebrows? All right, so I've been using and loving this um, Milani, um, what do they call it? Milani Stay Put Brow Color. It's just like the Anastasia Dip Brow. And uh, mine started to dry out a little bit, so I added a little bit of coconut oil to it, and it's back to normal, so awesome. All right, so I have two brushes that I like to use. I have a very small, oh, what was that? I have a very small um, Coastal Sense angled brush, and then I have the brush that also came with it, which is a little bit wider, a little bit longer, that also has a spoolie on the other end. So I kind of use both of those, but before I do anything, I prep my eyebrows with the Anastasia um, Brow Gel. I like to do this first and let them dry a little bit so that um, my hair is all in the direction that I want it to be as I'm doing it, plus I'm combing it through now to kind of get everything in place. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows now. I'm gonna go in with the smaller of the two angled brushes. And I like to start at my arch to my tip and then I work on the inside afterwards.
Okay, so I just threw some loose waves in my hair just to finish it off, you know, a nice casual look. Um, this eyeshadow isn't actually half bad. It starts off very soft, but it's definitely buildable, um, especially that uh, warmer shade, that dark, deeper, warmer shade. Um, I like it. I actually like this as an everyday kind of palette because the shades are so soft. If you don't want to wear like a very intense, you know, smoky eye, this is like a nice palette to create very um, day friendly looks. I definitely like it. Let me see in the mirror. Yeah, I really like it. It's very pretty. It's very soft. Definitely like this. Um, like I said in my first swatch video of the palette though, definitely um, it can be a complimentary palette to an all matte palette with deeper shades if you want to build up the crease and you know the outer V and the lower lash line. But if you want to keep it very soft and you know daytime you know, work appropriate, this isn't bad. It's actually really, really nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. So with that being said, um, I also really like the uh, Wet n Wild uh, contour palettes. Really nice, you know, they blend it out really nicely. The highlight shade is really pretty, really glowy. Um, yeah, and then um, I finished everything off with the lipstick. I am wearing um, MAC, uh, the Ellie Golding one uh, in Only You. Such a pretty color. It's, you know, soft, neutral color. I figured it would complement the look very uh, nicely. And that's it. So anyway, thank you so much for coming to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my little uh, get ready with me, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.